In this video, I am going to show you how to create a Minecraft paper server for the version 1.21.9. So, let's get started. The first thing you want to do is go to your web browser, and I will have links in the description if you need them. But here, just go to your search bar and search up paper mc, like this. Now enter, and here you'll find papermc.io and papermc. Click on this link here and you'll be sent to this page, which is the homepage for paper. So now just go to the blue downloads button and then go to the paper button. And now you'll find a button called toggle experimental builds for 1.21.9 or if you are watching this video a bit later, this will just say 1.21.9 right here. If you're on light mode, this button might be very complicated to see because it might be transparent. So just click under it and you should probably get it. So simply click on this button here, the toggle experimental builds for 1.21.9. And now it goes like this. So from there, simply go ahead and click the paper 1.21.9 download here in red. And this just downloads you the server software. So here it is. Here is our paper jar, and what you want to do is if you can't run .jar files because you might not have Java full Windows active, simply go ahead and go to a new tab and go to your search bar and search up JDK25 or Java25. Now enter, here you'll find overcall.com Java downloads, click on this link and you'll be sent to this website. From there, do you accept all, scroll down. You'll find JDK25, click Windows if you're using Windows, scroll down, you'll find x64 installer, click this link to download and install Java, and then you'll be able to go ahead and run the jar. So yeah, just do this if you can't do this already. So once you have everything sorted out, you can go ahead and close or minimize your web browser. I'll just close mine, and from there, you can start the server creation process. So the first step is to create a folder where all your server files will be kept in. So I'm just going to use my desktop for this. So to do this, simply go ahead and right click anywhere and do new folder. Now name your server anything you want. This is not your server name, but this is just your folder for your server and everything. So I'll just call this server. Why not? It really doesn't matter. So now we have a folder called server. So what you want to do is just open up the folder. It should be empty. And once you're here, just go to downloads, select and copy your jar and go to the top left arrow to go back to the previous folder and click paste. And now you have your server jar. So all what you have to do here is to simply double click the jar and this just kind of opens up automatically and it will stop at EULA because you will have to accept the EULA. So it just creates a bunch of folders here and files a bit later. But here we have EULA here. So what you have to do is simply go ahead and double click EULA.txt. From there, you can read the EULA. I read it there, of course. So just go on false and turn this to true. It's that easy. Now, just go ahead and click file save as, save, yes, and you now overridden this EULA with the new one. So if I double click it again, it will say true now. Okay. So once you've done this, what you can do is go to server.properties, for example, and you can change some properties if you want. Now I am not going to go through all these, but you can just like change your max player count if you want. Like so, that is 200 players. You can make it online mode false if you want non-mojang players to join, for example. You can name your world anything you want. You can give it a seed if you want. You can make it like peaceful, easy, normal, hard if you want here. You can change your port if you want to host the server on a different port. And yeah, you have the whitelist here if you only want people that you trust to join. But yeah, this a bit more to this, but you can just go ahead and see. And this is also 
another thing you can do as well to change the difficulty this is basically the same thing here yeah. so you can change this difficulty of the whole server itself so yeah you can just go ahead and mess with this if you want but i'll just i'll just save what i did just add a bit more players that's a good one there you go and now if you check server the properties again you will notice that we have our max player account saved so once you have everything here just go back to paper again and double click it and now this will actually activate the paper software like this and now you can see that we actually have our paper software and it recognized that we have quite a few well gigabytes of ram on the computer i have 32 so here it actually allocated 8 gigabytes already so this is our server which is on one thing i would like to point out is that this is the plugins folder here so if you have any plugins you can add it to this folder and then you'll be able to just go ahead and have plugins on your server here make sure if you add plugins that you turn off the server and add and turn on the server again to actually get this to activate so yeah once you have everything here what you can do is simply go ahead and go to minecraft and i will show you the server working one thing you can do here is simply go ahead and also port forward the server but that is another thing i'll talk about a bit later so here for the actual release you don't need any modification you can just use anything you want so i'll just use the default vanilla release of 1.29 and click play so here we have to wait for minecraft to open up real quick and then we'll be able to go ahead and add the server to our server list so let's just wait for this there you go and once we're here you will have to go to multiplayer as this is also just servers and once you're here how do you add your server well you want to go to add server here and for the server name it can be anything so i'll just call it name and for the server address this actually matters so as you are hosting this on the same device for example you can just do 0000, zero, zero, zero. this is a local host so if i do down it will work if you are hosting this on a different device but on the same network just do add server again i'll do name two and for the server address you have to go to the computers like ip address local ip address that has this server on it so in this case you'll have to go to settings which you can just access like this just go to your computer settings then you want to go to network and internet then you want to go to the actual like properties of the Wi-Fi or Ethernet you're using. So you can go with this button here, or you can just go and click on this or this and choose the properties of the Wi-Fi. Either way, you want to be on this page. And from there, you simply want to go ahead and scroll down until you find here, the IPv4 address. So in this case, this is your local IP address. So basically all computers have the same thing but what you want to do here is this device this is its address for the actual network that i have so in this case you just want to copy this of again the machine that has this and paste this in the other device that you're using and it will also work if you want other players from other networks to join you this is called port forwarding and i will have a tutorial in the description but basically all what you want to do is go to your modems wi-fi settings or modem settings that's basically with the web browser you go to the modem settings you log in as administrator you go to port forwarding or something that's similarly named like this and then you'll be able to just add this ip address here as a port with the actual port of minecraft which is right here so 25565 that's the port that you want to forward with this address but i will have a thing in the description if you actually need uh, help with this so yeah if i join this Minecraft server here we'll just have to wait a couple seconds to actually let us in but then you'll be able to actually see that we just have minecraft like so if i do slash plugins as you can see this is something that is just connected to the server it says we have no plugins of course and if i go to the console one player is actually found and again i can do like up fin begin or at a 
and we're now in operator here so i can do slash creative and we can now fly around and do whatnot and look over there anyways uh so this is kind of how we get like paper to work now if you want to add some plugins you will have to go ahead and go and get yourself some plugins so yeah that is one thing you can do if you want so honestly i'll just show you how to get plugins for your minecraft server so let's just say that we are done with this you know it works and everything we can see that we have 200 players and everything so to get plugins to your minecraft server you want to number one stop this so you can close it here or just type in stop and this will stop the server so now the server is offline so to add plugins you simply want to go ahead and just add it to this folder here which is the plugins folder and to get something to add in there you want to go to your web browser then you want to go to your search bar and search up mod events like so some plugins might have their own way of making you download them but i'm just showing you something overall here we have modern so just simply click on modern and then you'll be sent here from there just go on discover content on the top of the website go down to plugins and now you have a bunch of plugins you can choose from so i'll just choose a very obvious one which is just world edit you'll see the change happen quite quickly so to get a plugin just simply go ahead and click on the name of the plugin then click on versions and here you want to do game versions you can choose a game version if you want but it is just better to just do like just for example a release of a bucket plugin or paper plugin and you can just do the version if you want but if you know what you're looking for you can just simply find paper version so you can just go ahead and do it this method if you want but simply find something that allows paper it doesn't have to be exactly the same version it's a bit like resource packs some of them do but not in this case so if you want this plugin just find paper and click download and there you go some plugins might have dependencies it is a bit rarer but you can check if there's any dependencies required it will seems right here so here we have our plugin which is right here and once you have it downloaded you can simply go to your server files you can go to the plugins folder you can go to downloads select your plugin and copy it then go to the top left arrow to go back to the previous folder and click paste and you're done so now just do a server just go on paper here and double click it it will just boot up like it did before but this time you're gonna have an extra plugin so yeah let's just wait for it there you go it's done and now you can just simply go to minecraft you can refresh it is online you can do this just play on it and once we're here all you have to do is simply go ahead and like you can try like slash plugins for example and here you see that we have one plugin and yeah so you'll just be able to just mess around with the plugin some plugins work some plugins don't work if the version is not exactly the same but yeah that is one idea so if you want to add plugins you can do just that as well so yeah if you like today's video make sure to like and subscribe and see you for the next one bye